This story is called The Pumpkin Smasher. It's written and illustrated by Anita Bernard. In October, when the leaves of red and gold fall to the ground, the people of Cranberry get ready for Halloween. Mrs. Patchett, the school teacher, she puts big black cats on her gate post. Are those really real cats? No, they're plastic, aren't they? Like ones you can buy in a store. The terrible Turner twins, they rig up a ghost. They slide it on a wire from the old oak tree to their front door. Now that would be a fun trick to play on someone. Make a, take a sheet and turn it into a ghost and then have it slide down the wire right to your front door when the, the trick-or-treaters come. Well, a scarecrow, a scarecrow stuffed with dry corn stalks stands guard outside the library. And there is ja a jack-o'-lantern at every house and store. Some are carved so that the candlelight gleams through diamond-shaped eyes. Others have painted faces and corn silk hair. Well, the town is filled with the orange of pumpkins everywhere. And the biggest one of all grins at passerbys from the steps of the town hall. Every year, the whole town gets into the Halloween spirit of shivery fun. Until, well, until one Halloween. Oh, the pumpkin smasher strikes! The people of Cranberry, they awake to find smashed pumpkins all over their streets, their sidewalks, and even their porches. Not a single jack-o'-lantern is unsmashed. What a catastrophe. See all the pumpkins smashed on the street here? Everywhere you go, I don't think there's one pumpkin that wasn't smashed. Has that ever happened at your house? I know what's happened at mine. But who, who do you think the pumpkin smashers are? Yeah, it's usually older kids, isn't it? Maybe like middle school and high school kids. They're just out having some fun. And, you know, your old pumpkin, it probably was going to go in the trash anyway. Well, the townspeople, they were kind of upset. So do you see they put the sign up here on the edge of town? It says, don't touch the pumpkins, please. <gasps> on the next Halloween, signs are put up on the edge of town to warn people not to touch the pumpkins. And when Halloween comes around again, a policeman is hired to patrol the streets. They even hired an extra policeman just to watch out for the pumpkin smasher. But he keeps missing the pumpkin smasher. All he sees are the smashed pumpkins. Now, three Halloweens of smashed pumpkins. That was just about enough. This Halloween was going to be different. The mayor called a special meeting in the town square. The townspeople were really mad and said they weren't going to waste their money on any more pumpkins. And, said Mrs. Patchett, it is too dangerous to let our children trick or treat with such a nasty person around. The children will just have to do with out Halloween this year. Oh no! No candy? Are you kidding me? Well, let's take a vote, said the mayor. 
Everyone who feels there should be no more Halloween, raise his hand. At this moment, the meeting was interrupted by strange <sighs> puffing and <sighs> scraping sounds. Everyone was flabbergasted to see an enormous rock roll into the square. Then from behind it, Bob two redheads. It was a terrible Turner twins. Wait, please don't do anything. We're going to fix that pumpkin smasher. Wait until he tries to smash this. We're going to paint it to look just like a giant jack-o'-lantern. <gasps> a gas came from the townspeople and then a little chuckle <laughs> and then a roar of laughter. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, said the mayor. Let's give it a try and see what happens. Well then, the terrible Turner twins made the rock into the most terrific looking pumpkins you ever saw. They painted it black and orange and they put it right out in front of town hall. So you see, that's a giant rock and they made it look just like a real jack-o'-lantern. So what do you think will happen when the pumpkin pack the smasher tries to uh, smash that pumpkin? Yeah, they might get hurt. <laughs> well, that night, the people of Cranberry went to bed with little grins on their faces but the terrible Turner twins, they just couldn't sleep because they wanted to see the pumpkin smasher. They climbed out of their beds. They knelt by their window. And when it was very black outside, they heard a noise. And then they saw the pumpkin smasher. They couldn't believe their eyes because it was a witch. Oh, and she was smashing every pumpkin in sight. Squish went the first pumpkin. Splat went the second pumpkin. Squash went the third pumpkin. The twins hardly breathed as she smashed her way straight to the front of the town hall. But when she tried to smash the rock pumpkin, <laughs> she let out the longest, witchiest cackle the twins had ever heard. <laughs> didn't even move. It didn't even budge. She banged on it from the right. Wow! And then she banged on it from the left. Wow! Still nothing happened. She was so angry. She leaped on her broomstick and flew higher and higher until she was out of sight. Well, the next morning, everyone rushed out to see what had happened. Scrawled across the pumpkin was the message. It said, I'll have to find another town next year. And it was signed, The Pumpkin Smasher Witch. That night, Trick or treat, trick or treat. It echoed through every street in the town of Cranberry. Kids got to have fun after all, didn't they? Now, I hope that the pumpkin smasher witch doesn't find your town. But if she does, now you know what to do about it. All right, boys and girls, I know that's a silly story, 
there's no such thing as a pumpkin smasher witch, is there? But could there be people like maybe older brothers and sisters, middle school kids, high school kids? Maybe they might go out and think it would be fun to smash some of those jack-o'-lanterns that are sitting outside? Well, if they come to your house, now you know what to do. Imagine what would happen if they tried to smash a rock pumpkin. <laughs> Goodbye.